know that they don't know what they're doing, but he's not a good pressure fighter. People don't know how to take away and pick him apart, and so that's what I'm going to show on Saturday night is exposing all of his weaknesses. You know, obviously it's not the plan for you. Kevin Garcia would fight high Jake, so obviously it's not in the plan for you. You come to win. I'm sure that you're sure of yourself in this W. Let's just say in some Twilight Zone universe, Mike pulls off a win. How could that affect your possible fight with Tyson in November? It's not going to happen, man. I, I, I just, it's not possible, so I, I can't even answer that question. I, I know I'm going to win with these. There you go. Have you spoke to Mike Tyson at all? Do you have any update you can offer us? Yeah, no, he's doing good. He's back to training. He was concerned with me taking this fight. He's like, what is Jake thinking? This guy, Mike Perry, is a killer. So he has some concerns. But Tyson, my message to you is don't worry. I'm going to put this guy to sleep. This is a Mike appetizer, and then you're next. Yeah, Jake, the people want to know. Your walkout, more or less than 90 and a half seconds. Uh, it sounds like a little better thing we got going on here. Uh, my walkout's probably going to be more than 90 seconds. He said what? He switched to the past and back to the past and I had him. Honestly, what about you? Okay. Alright, well, shout out to Carl. I don't know what to say, but um, yeah, man, like, obviously all these people in boxing or MMA, whatever he is, they're going to talk shit, they're going to discredit everything that I have done in the sport because like, they're jealous, they want to be in my position, or they want to fight me, so it is what it is. So I think Mike is the face of Aaron Arthur Box, how did he get power with him saying he Now, I'm sure he's going to have some good power. Uh, I just believe that he's not going to be able to hit me. I'm going to be too fast, working behind my pad the whole entire night, and moving out of the way of his big punches and exposing him and his chin. What are your thoughts on the loss of the Diaz? Say it again. What are your thoughts on the Diaz Masvidal loss? I, I think Nate Diaz and the Masvidal loss too just shows how dumb these people are. This is not an easy business. Boxing is not easy. It's not easy to sell pay-per-views. If someone's giving you a big guarantee, it's most likely fraudulent. And Nate Diaz should have taken my $15 million MMA offer, but yesterday's price is not today's price, so now that he needs money, uh, the, the offer goes down, and I'm still down to run into the PFL against Nate Diaz. You say George 25, you want to be world champion. Yeah, in the, next, in the next two years, I will be shooting away world champion. Are you eyeing anyone in particular? There's a lot of names on the list. I want everybody, and I'm going to prove to everybody that I can upset these guys and that I'm a greater boxer than everyone ever thought. Jake, you know, you just talked about Nate Diaz and Mazi on their situation, and I just want to ask, you know, is there any potential or possibility that you could ever mend things with Dana? He's spoken respectfully about you at times, like on his Club Shay Shay interview. He didn't bash or anything like that. Considering the fact that he seems to be the impediment between you and uh, Nate Diaz MMA fight or a Masvidal MMA fight, can that relationship ever be mentioned? Look, uh, there's a lot of things I respect about Dana White, his, his politics, what he did for MMA, but now it's time for him to pay his UFC fighters more. And so if he can agree to do that, then I'm more than down to sit down and have a conversation with him and work on our relationship like grown men. And at the end of the day, I just want what's best for the fighters. KSI is fighting Slim the Hitman and Anthony Taylor in a one versus two. Do you think you've now proven the difference between you and KSI in terms of you taking the sport seriously and maybe him not? Yeah, man. I mean, he, he's been a joke in the sport since day one. I said before the gift fight that he would never fight me, and that still holds true. He's doing this WWE tag team boxing, and that's that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to become a world champion. I think I'll make the transition into MMA when the opponent or an opponent wants to sign a contract. Somebody that I'm interested in fighting for my first MMA fight, and that's a name like Nate Diaz. I would be interested in fighting Mike Perry, but I want to do MMA. I love it. I have a wrestling background, and I think it'd be really exciting. Thank you, everyone. That's it. That's all we got. Thank you.